What is good guys? So today we're going to be talking about the news that broke a couple of days ago and that is that the Dallas Cowboys after seven years have decided to release running back Ezekiel Elliott who finishes third all-time in rushing yards on the Dallas Cowboys franchise and I mean, let's be honest that's pretty impressive considering the top guy on that list leads the entire NFL and the history of rushing Emmett Smith, so yeah, very impressive what Zeke was able to do. And yeah, it's it's just unfortunate, you know. I stand by what I say. I think Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott's one of the greatest duos in all of sports all time. They loved each other. They came in as rookies, took the league over by storm. They've been best friends ever since, and all seven years that they've been together, you know, Zeke. He was a star at Ohio State. He helped them win the national championship in 2014. He had some off-the-field issues, but worked them out. You know, a lot of people thought he should have been the offensive rookie of the year. He led the league in rushing. And, I mean, he when he was on the field, their offense was productive. When he wasn't, their offense wasn't that productive. And so, yeah, and then there's the whole contract holdout eventually Jerry pays him, but he's never the same back. And past couple of years, he's really declined. And now they're just ready to move on to Tony Pollard, and they're done with Zeke. And I'm not sure Zeke will get to sign anywhere else, even if it's on a cheap deal, just because he isn't that productive. I do think he is still productive, though. I think you can sort of use him like Jamal Williams, red zone situations, short yardage, yardage situations. But he can't be your number one every down back. He's not... McCaffrey or King Henry or Dalvin Cook or Saquon or anyone like that. Uh, he's too old, and it happens to a lot of running backs, a lot of running backs early. I mean, 30s considered old for a running back. When running backs tend to retire before any other position in the NFL on average, you know. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. I definitely, you know, my heart doesn't necessarily agree with the decision to release him, but my head does. He was getting less and less productive. It's only going to be a one-year, $11 million cap hit. You're not going to be, you know, losing a lot in releasing him. And yet, I'm sure it was tough for Jerry, but because, you know, again, with Jerry, probably same thing with me. You know, his heart doesn't want to release him, but his head does. And at the end of the day, if you want to run a successful NFL franchise, you have to listen to your head every time over your heart. So... I think it's unfortunate, yeah, for real. But, um, I mean, the Cowboys, they, they should be still fine as far as run game goes because, like I said, Tony Pollard, he's really explosive. He's productive for them. And where does Zeke go? I don't know if Zeke gets signed anywhere. I hope he does. I love Zeke. I've enjoyed watching him. Basically watched him my entire time watching football. So... Yeah, very unfortunate news from uh, an emotional standpoint, but from a business standpoint, just business as usual. We get the move, obviously. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. More content is coming. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.